everyone to Noah Grigson Land. Today we'll be talking about Charlotte. 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 The Coke 600. A long race. A long race. Yes. That lasts a very long time. Yes. Four stages. Four stages. Wow. That is an extra playoff point. Wilkesboro. Sup. Was a race. That Zoom happened. Out. Oh, uh, we got drenched this Saturday. Like, and drenched is a understatement. Yeah. Uh, they don't have nowhere for you to I stay think dry. I would have been drier if I jumped in the ocean. Yes. And that's how wet we were. And yes. you couldn't go to your car because like it takes forever <coughs> to get to your car. Yes. Yeah, so Who's stay he? far. You gotta park way. Wilkesboro rent. So yeah. Far. You gotta ride a cart ride to Narnia to get to your car. And yes. then if your race that you paid for go to the next day you can't go have parking so personally i think wilkesboro needs to invest in some better parking uh, definitely so. buy out some people make 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 some room for parking yeah. if you want to have a big all-star race you got to have better and parking. also if you want more people to come to your all-star races change the package where they can at least pass <laughs> and get the fans some wi-fi good lord <laughs> you got no Signal for for nothing. So you sign up to their Wi-Fi and then you had nothing. Been to Wilkesboro both times. We didn't go to the All Star last year, but we did this year because didn't like it. The, the rain got the washed. Rain, the race got washed out. Yeah, so it's kind of plus, but also we were tired as crap. So it was like, yeah. oh. so I think Wilkesboro can be good. It can be, but it's just probably going to take longer than people are willing to wait for. So, NASCAR's probably gonna pull the plug eventually, yeah. right before it gets good, and that's that's yeah. what's gonna suck. But anyways, we're moving a couple miles to Concord, Concord Motor Speedway, where they have a big parking lot. It's line. not even in Charlotte. All right. Yeah. So they got parking area gonna get washed away. Yeah. People get stuck and got to get pulled <laughs> out and. Charlotte's probably my favorite parking out of all of them. Maybe Bristol, because I think they actually have a lot more yeah. gravel. Well, I don't know about Bristol. I didn't mind Bristol because I drove the Toyota truck and they said, here's free parking. So you drive a Toyota? You can park right here. Can you drive a Toyota? So that's awesome. We have all three manufacturers, even though the Chevy's out of commission at the moment. So what does that say? Uh, let's talk about the truck series. Truck series. Which it was, was which was a pretty good race from Wilkesboro, so uh better than the All Star. Yeah. And not great, but you know At least they could pass. They had some strategy. At I least they the had strategy. different leaders. You had like some people stay out and that could actually stay out there and do pretty well. The tires just did not degrade and I think that's the only issue. Um but yeah, who we going with? So this week I'll probably go with uh, Nick Sanchez. I think he did pretty good on up to a mile and a half, so I think Charlotte might be a good fit for him. Not being Corey Heim. Corey Heim. Yeah. Do you even have to give an explanation? The Heim time is, is rocking around the clock right Here's now. Here's my explanation. He is, uh, he is, he's just ticking away and uh, getting his wins left and right. And By the minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I'm going with, I uh, found out I've been saying his name all wrong. And his name is actually Christian Ickes. Ickes. <laughs> That's what the announcer doing driver intro said it, so Christian Ickes. <laughs> he had a solid truck. I wouldn't, Kill say, rain. I wouldn't say better than Heim. I, mean, I say he I mean, probably should have finished second, but he said on the radio that the strategy effed him. Thanks yeah. a lot, crew chief. Yeah, most for you know, if the strategy works right, if you get out in clean air, you're pretty much checking out. Yeah. Uh, Heim just worked it better. He had a better truck. I think you could probably drive that Toyota Tacoma and be first and stay there. Of course, I didn't block her. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> At least you have passing. Yes. <laughs> 
it'd, it'd probably pass people easier than the truck. We got a lot more air underneath. Yeah. All right, the Xfinity. Xfinity series. We got some cup boys trying to yeah destroy the show. And speaking of a cup boy, I'm going to win on uh, Chase Elliott. You okay? Take a chase. <laughs> That's cool. You gotta ask Ben, I don't want really, to. I don't really chase? care. I was surprised he got booze at Wilkesburg. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's surprising. I think I got I feel third like most booze. In everybody. my opinion, and some of you might get mad, but I think Kyle Larson should be the most popular driver because I've seen people mostly with his stuff and he got the most cheers. And that's all people talked about. He wasn't even there half the freaking week. And people was like. The announcers talked about Kyle Larson more than the people actually on the track. Yeah. Which him coming, him coming to the track was more exciting than the race. Yeah, he actually made a few passes, but he can only pass the first three or four laps and then he's pretty much done. Yeah, that's everybody. His car just went away. Anyway, my pick is Noah Gregson. Yeah, so he's running a few races in the Xfinity Series now, so he's back. Back in the Xfinity Series, see if he can burn up the track again. And as for me, I'm going with the guy who uh, got knocked out of the park. He didn't knock it out of the park. He got knocked out of the park. Kyle Busch. We're all picking Cup. Yeah, is well, it's Charlotte. So, he got to worry about Ricky Stenhouse wrecking there. Unless he... What's this? We have a surprise new entry. Ricky <laughs> Stenhouse. But, you know, if I don't win with Kyle Busch, he'll just say, You suck just as bad as I do. Yeah. <laughs> Which we had a good view for the fight. Yeah. I was like, do I take a video of Joe Lugano doing burnouts or do I take a video of the fight? Oh, well, we can see Joey win again with the fights are rare. Yeah. But, uh, no, the Cup Series. Cup series. Okay, I'm gonna. The long one. Yeah, it's a long one. So, I wanna go on a limb here and I'm gonna pick Kyle Larson. Running an IndyCar, he's gonna fly his way to Charlotte, he's gonna run. He's gonna run? He's gonna run the race. That's a long run. I mean, it's like a six hour drive. I mean, why not pick Kyle? You know, he just runs. He runs well, he might pass more than the other one. Pass better than the bro. So we'll see if he can do the double and we'll see how well he does. I'd like to see someone win both one time. Yeah. Which, if yeah, anybody's awesome. going to do it, it's going to be him. I think if you're going to do it, you got to do it for multiple years. Yeah. You got to, like, you can't just go, well, I'll try. Yeah, oh, well. You got to keep doing it. Yeah. No, it's a lot but of I logistics. Think but I, but I think Kyle Larson could do it. I mean, he's win, he won mostly everything he's he entered in. Fifth for the Indy 500. Wow. But why do we never see any Indy car drivers trying out the 600? Because they can't drive these stupid cars. <laughs> Sorry. I think New Gordon would do it. it. There's nothing bad about the Indy car drivers. It's just car sucks. <laughs> you can't pass nobody and it just piss them off. I need, I need some push to pass. That's what they need, some push to pass. I'm not sure how that would work in these cars. Uh, I guess you push the car in front of you so you pass it. Yeah, that's, that's hard. You're driving hard into the turn. But the thing is, at North Wilkesboro, you can't get to them. You know, like, because everybody's more here. When you get to them, then... Well, what you got to do is bush them. <laughs> then they go away. Not push them, just bush them. <laughs> yeah, the only way to push the pass at Wilkesboro is just dump them. <laughs> All right, Emily. I am again Noah Gregson. All right, Noah my pick. <laughs> Let me say it. I am picking Noah Gregson. There, I said. Noah Which Gregson. he has a good-looking car. So he had a decent run at Wilkesboro. I mean, he made some passes and got up there and he got knocked back. If you look at all the mile and a half, it's been pretty much injured motorsports. That is one. The whole year is pretty much injured motorsports. That is one. 
But if you go back to the last mile and a half, there was a certain driver who came oh so close. Now you guys say his name like the announcer did. He came oh so close to winning and getting that little sticker he's been dying for. Dying for. It means more. That's why I'm going with Chris Boucher. That's how they announced it. I guess they booed him. I guess they didn't like him. <laughs> He said in the way he said it, Chris Boucher. And I was like, what? Yeah. So, uh, man, the closest second place winner in history. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> closest loser in history. Wow. Well, at least you're not Danny Hamlin. He's the uh, first place million dollar loser. <laughs> So, Booksboro is officially behind us. Thank goodness. Thank God. <laughs> Which we were struggling Monday. Yeah. Uh, Which would probably be the last time we go. Most likely. Most likely. A points paying race, I would go. But an awesome. They brought Xfinity cars to the cup car. Yeah, I would go to an Xfinity race there, not a cup race. <laughs> Even the truck race wasn't really great. You know, it actually had like a lot of great passes throughout the field. But I think cup wise, if we had a full field there, it would be crazy because you can't pass the 40th place. <laughs> be a lot of wrecks. <laughs> so it would create some sort of drama. The whole field would be stacked up on each other. So I just don't think the All Star Race works for North Folks Pro. I think you ought to swap them around, do the clash at North Folks Pro. Where it's colder. I think you do the all I think you do the all star there. You run some laps and then invert the field. Run some laps and invert it again. You know, yeah. just kind of shake, shake it up a little bit because the leader is going to lead the whole thing. So. Here is my proposition for an all star race go to your grassroots short track races, your racetracks like Hickory or, you know, Bowman Gray, Langley. You know, you got that. All in the place where they do uh, snowball derby, Pensacola. Do the all star race there. I can go switch it every year, find a new place. Might even have to switch the date for the best, like temperature wise. But have an open car that maybe like teams like Track House 2311 that have an open car where they can put anybody in it you know they do like for the formula one drivers any car drivers that want to try out nascar have that car set up for a short track hero of that track kind of like how srx used to do you have a late model race a week or two before maybe maybe like a couple months before the actual all-star race the winner of that race gets to go in the open car and prove to the cup drivers that he's an all-star. Where some random guy that drives around, you know, using his own money to work on the car, win races at this track, can show up the NASCAR drivers, win a million dollars, invest it into his team. Yeah. That would make... Give it back to the community. That would make the all-star race worth something. Because it's like, if some random guy that races at Hickory is going to say, well, I beat Kyle Larson, I beat Joe Logano, and I won a million dollars. Boom. That's an all-star race. Yeah, but help his, his racing. Help his racing. Career. I mean, if you want to really help short track grassroots, there you go. Yep. You heard it here, folks. I solved your problem. Because the all-star race, I feel, just has no meaning. Why do we want to go to a race and watch a guy that's already got millions of dollars win another? Yep. <laughs> I would want to go watch some guy with a dream beat the crap out of some cup drivers and win a million dollars. That means something to And also, to him. <laughs> it can show like Team Hendricks or anybody a new driver. It's like, oh, this guy, he could wheel a cup car. He's only been in, been in one for a month testing. Yeah. Maybe we don't beat these guys. So. Like they can be a NASCAR driver if they dream. And then that's how you get more drivers in 
into the format. Yep. Into the field. A guy that would have no chance otherwise. I mean, he'd have to fight and claw all his way to get there, but. At least he'll try. Put some eyes on him. Yeah. At least he'll try, because some drivers, it looks like they don't try. I mean, it would even make your, uh, like, like the car store. People would want to go see that, to see who's going to win their way into the All Star race. Yeah. That would mean more than an open. Nobody really cares. Uh, well, I don't care if I make this race or not. <laughs> yeah, well, late mall race. Whoever wins that race gets to put it in that, that car. Yeah. I don't know nobody listens to what we say in these, but. Well, well sometimes they do. It's just they don't take. They don't but I want to hear some credit. thoughts on that. Maybe even improve it. Yeah. And yeah, make it enjoyable. Cause I mean, people at the All Star race was like bored out of their mind. Yeah. I mean, that would that wouldn't be an all-star race. That's your. You know, I just used Hickory as an example because that's what we've been to. You go to Hickory, see guys that just dominate the track. They can prove themselves to these cup drivers. Yeah. So I'm gonna be respected in this sport. So that'd be cool, but uh. We got a 600 race, 600 mile race cover. Let us know your picks in the comments below. There's no rain. No rain, please. Please, no. We had yeah, a If you rain the next week, I don't care. We had it's a not this one. All right. Let us know your picks in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.